Hello everybody, this is Jacob, and if you clicked on this video, you're wanting to know how to add dropdowns in Excel. This is the 2016 version, but it also works for 2013, so just a heads up on that. So the example that we're going to be using off to the left side of your screen is shirt size, shirt color, shirt style, and quantity ordered. We want to be able to add dropdowns to all of these options. Now first, what I suggest if you're creating something like this is to create a tab that is separate so you can add all of your drop down options and then in a later point you can hide this tab so no one else can see it but if you notice we have shirt size shirt color shirt style quantity ordered and we have everything in a vertical list it must be in a vertical list so let's go ahead and go back over to our first page so what we want to do is add a drop down here 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 and here okay so now we're gonna do shirt size so what you have to do is go up to the data tab at the top. Once you click data, go over to data validation, click the drop down, and then do data validation again. Now this box is going to pop up. When this box pops up, change it from any value down to a list. Now go to source, and then you go over to the dashboard, and you select the source in which you want to be in the drop down. Now notice I left the blank space here. I personally like to do that. That way there is an allowable option that can be blank. So then once you go back, all you do is click OK. And notice you'll see this white box here. Now when you select it, you'll be able to see all of the drop downs. But oh wait, we accidentally left out Excel. Now this type of thing happens all the time. So here's something cool that you can do with it. So you don't have to, you know, go add in the Excel and then redo that entire process. Since it recognizes the three Excel at as the very end of the list and small, or I guess the blank space as the top of the list, if you want to add something in, all you have to do is move them down like this. So all I did was just cut and then paste. And now we have a space for the Excel. And once we add that in, if we go back over to the original sheet and you click the drop down, notice that the Excel is now available. So I hope this was helpful and I'm also doing a part two video kind of talking about how you can use these drop down menus to your advantage. So the second video what we're going to be doing is creating all of the drop downs and then we're going to be doing some pricing based off of the drop downs that are selected. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe.